Today on the show, we're going to do a 2023 NFL mock draft, which we're all really excited for. You know, these two guys love watching college football. They want to watch a ton of it. So I'm, I'm not surprised that they're probably going to be really, really into each one of these players. I can't wait. All three of the games. I watched them all. Billy, you are you are my guiding light in all things college football. I learn everything from you. I've gotten way more into college football this year because of what we do on the Dynasty Tailgate. Guys, you should give that a listen, especially in the offseason for all your draft needs. But, yeah, I mean, it's I'm still in NFL mode right now. I have not dove into the tape as much as I would have liked to. But you are our guiding light, and I want you to guide us with this number one pick. Yeah. Okay, so well, we're going to – What do you got? Okay. Oh, okay. I was just going to lay the ground rules. Um, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. So we obviously there's 31 picks in the first round. Uh, we're going to go team by team. We're going to say a team and then we're going to say who we would choose in this spot. If you don't know a person, just say, what do you think their biggest need is, what the position that they should be targeting. And then the other two can fill in the blank with who they think or expect. And then we can just keep going from there. Josh, what do you have to add? I want to add that I wanted to add trades into this because the Chicago Bears are number one. These two clowns did not allow me to do that because there's no way the Chicago Bears draft at number one. And I will make that fireball bet right this second if anyone's on it. We're just gonna That's pause. what I thought. That's what I thought. Let's have a moment of silence for the Chicago Bears. All right. All right. What is happening? What the? What is this? What's what? We had two Joes for a second. <laughs> the Joes are multiplying, guys. The Joes are multiplying. We're just gonna we're gonna now we're gonna go ahead and just throw that up there because this is our draft board. The Chicago Bears are on the clock for whatever reason. Will Anderson is the pick. I think we're all in yes. agreement that if they were to hypothetically draft first, which they won't, it would be Will Anderson. So let's go ahead and just put a pick on the board before another Joe pops up. But we will talk through it real quick. Will Anderson is probably the best prospect in this class. Um, I think that this makes an obvious pick. He's an edge rusher that, I mean, we're talking, you know, the edge rushers of the past, the Nick Bosa's, the Michael Parsons that all got drafted in the first round. Will Anderson, I think, is above each one of them. So this is a truly game defense changing player right here. And I think that Will Anderson is going to be really good for years to come. So I cannot wait to see what team he lands on if it is the bears that may be a different draft position due to trade or if another team ends up with them like this is a home run pick for whoever gets him yeah he yeah. immediately plugs up the defense he's one of the best run stoppers in the whole country the chicago bears need it get the best player that's going to put the immediate impact on the field will anderson yeah the, the lack of draft picks for the bears is what makes me think <clears> that they're going to trade and duplicate their draft picks just like joe did to start this we month. expect a trade to happen here we're not going to do it in the first mock draft though we'll do it on the next mock though don't you worry okay. i'm actually Second. budding so i'm gonna grow exponentially as we go through this podcast so. Oof. Well, all then. right Second pick in the draft is the Houston Texans, and I think we can all agree they're gonna go quarterback i have will levis for sure there's no everybody loves that. everybody loves Will Levis right now though. What are you talking about? The next Josh Everyone's... Allen as he proclaims himself. But I have I can't believe Bryce he Young, so I can't I'm believe he that. said that. You know, like start small. Say, hey, I'm gonna be the next Carson Wentz. I'm gonna win you seven, eight games a year, and then I'll flunk out in the playoffs. Like compare yourself to that. Don't say Josh Allen. He's on another level. Yeah. So sure. Uh, on a serious note, I actually don't think it's Bryce Young. I think it's C.J. Stroud. Um, I'm a little worried about Alabama quarterbacks being a product of their system. We haven't seen a good one come out of there in a while. Uh, there's been a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say draft busts, but not like the number one quarterback drafted overall. And personally, I think it's C.J. Stroud. I was just kidding about what I would Levis say Ohio is. State also has that issue, by the way. That's hey, fair. I just, uh, what have you done for me lately? Joe, I love um, Justin Fields. We have not they seen breed good They're running backs. drafting man, first overall. <laughs> dude i i mean i think cj stroud he could easily jump to the top of this group just because of his floor i think he has the highest floor of any of these quarterbacks i think bryce the measurables are gonna scare people off but he's a proven winner just everyone can fuck off with this will love his shit i had prototypical size is i mean joe flacco had prototypical size he does have a super bowl but he is not elite by any means 
All I can think of when people say Will Levis is the Malik Willis hype we got before the draft. Uh, Barring that was like earlier, like closer to the draft. But at this point, Will Levis is like his draft stock's never going to be higher than right now. Like it's just going to go down. The thing is, though, he's going to kill it in shorts. It's just when he plays the actual sport, that's when it sucks for him. But him being in shorts, throwing at trash cans and stuff, he's going to look amazing. I mean, I look good in shorts and throwing at trash cans, but we're not talking about that. I know. I'm um, just saying when he actually gets on the field, that's when the actual problems will start for Will Evans. But like him, you know, pre-draft. He'll look and check out All my right, only so... fans at Josh Hall. STL. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, Joe gets like the deciding factor. On there. Oh, yeah. Mostly Joe, thighs. Break the tie, Joe. CJ Stroud or Bryce Young? You said Young? Bryce Young? I uh, I said Young. Yeah. Josh said Stroud. Oh, uh, I don't. I'm gonna go. I want to go Stroud just because I think out of this bunch, he is probably gonna be coveted the most. But um, especially after that game against Michigan, he really played well. CJ Stroud, it, it is. It was against Georgia, but Joe, I, I it yes. was against Georgia. Hey man, I'm trying. He's trying. You know, that, that blue and navy and gold about. looks a lot I was like just, red. I was just just throwing it out there. Yes, All right, I hope have, it's CJ Stroud. I have money on CJ Stroud being the first quarterback selected. So throw some on by that all me. means. Make make me uh make me some money. Anyway, we now have Arizona Cardinals on the clock, which in my opinion would be the Will Anderson pickup here usually, but since he is already gone and Chicago has not traded that first pick for a quarterback needy team, who do we got here? They have to <clears> trade. <throat> Let's be completely honest here. They got a new coaching staff. Kyler's not playing for a long time next year. This pick makes no sense to me. I think they trade it and kind of try to recoup some picks here, get some younger guys in there, because they are going into a rebuild. Hopefully it's a short one. So I think they trade it, but Jalen Carter should be the pick. Jalen Jalen Carter's my selection for them as well. I think we're all in agreement on this one. So Jalen Although, Carter. Oh man, they really need O line help, but Jalen Carter's not- the best. At the at the time being mocking wise, uh, I'm not seeing any offensive line before like the fifth or sixth pick at this point. So it just wouldn't make sense for him to go that high. So far, right, we got some. Uh, we got the Colts who also need a quarterback, which I think we can pretty much agree at this point that Bryce Young would be the next best candidate. Um, not sure if that's what you guys are thinking. You really that think is Jim Irsay is going to make a smart move on something? No, they're probably going <laughs> to sign like Derek Carr, um, you know, try the veteran quarterback. I think they're done approach. with the veteran quarterback route. I think he's going to rip a line off a stripper's asshole and then draft Will Levis at four. <laughs> well, me and Billy are going Bryce Young, I think. So I think we yes. overrule you, but I like that. I like where you're going with that. I too. like being overruled, man. That's that's awesome. Overruled. <laughs> All, All right. right. So we brings us to five. That's Seattle. Uh, this is the Russell Wilson pick right here. Um Thank you, Denver. Um, what do you got here, Bill? I think this, honestly, like I know maybe this is just the trend here. I honestly think this is another possible trade down candidate. I think uh, Carolina would love to move up to this spot to potentially go after whatever quarterback has made it past the top four. But do the exercise. I'm actually going to go Tyree Wilson, um, edge rusher from Texas Tech. I think that fills a need for Seattle. I think they really would love to have someone like Tyree Wilson on their team. And I think his pre-draft process is going to be in completely insane. I can't wait to see him at the senior bowl. He's going to be great. I have to agree with you here. I have three quarterbacks off the board, the top four picks. So I, you know, I had two. Okay, I'm going to throw, that... I'm going to throw a name out there. If you don't okay. like it, just throw it right back at me. Okay. Christian Gonzalez out of Oregon. <sighs> I don't pair him up it. with Tariq Woolen. I mean, Christian Gonzalez is a playmaker. He's blocking kicks out there. And then, I mean, dude, he may just makes plays on the ball all the time. The dude is an absolute stud. You got two bookends at cornerback. That's a phenomenal move for the future, especially after Brock Purdy and the 49ers made him look like ass out on that field. So it was really hard for me to place cornerbacks in this draft as well, just looking at all the teams who just got new young quarterbacks who look great. So it's, it was really hard to be like, oh, yeah, they're going to go quarterback again because it just seems like as a fan base, you'd be pissed. Like you're like oh, another cornerback. Great. That's what we need. I mean, they do need it. Um, I actually had Brian Breesy. Um, I'm not I'm not married to that pick. Uh, I do think they go edge, though, because that uh, that D line needs to make some pressure. And I just feel like this is you're getting to a spot. I actually like Tyree Wilson. I put him at number 10 for the Eagles. So I'm not against putting Tyree Wilson here if we want to agree on that. Let's do it. 
Overruled and again. I, I think Joe's is. pick. Well, Joe, I, the next pick, I think you you can have your guy. My guy, yeah. I like Christian so Gonzalez now, the next right next here. Pick is the Lions, and I'm with Joe on this one. I actually yeah. completely disagree with you. I think they go with uh, Trenton. Trenton Simpson, go linebacker. I know he's not really projected to go this high. I have a feeling he's going to test really well, personally. I know that's probably a bit of a stretch. Um, I think he's been projected kind of in that 9-10 range. He's been flirted with the Eagles. It's the only reason I'm really familiar with him. But I have a feeling because that's the one position they ha- they have no like prospects at right now. And I think that gives them that like lockdown inside linebacker. But Azzalone looked pretty damn good. I mean, that blonde flowing I- lock out there. And they got Rodriguez that's clearly up and coming. He's kind of a playmaker, too. I like Christian Gonzalez. Jeff Okuda is starting to come on. You got Tracy Walker coming back. You've Deshaun Elliott's back there. I mean, you have a really solid secondary for that team. With the way that offense puts up points, if they can just stop getting gashed by the big plays, I think that's the way you go. I just feel like the problem with that is they keep drafting the wrong corner, and they're not hitting the way they should be. <laughs> I they love Trent Okuda's but he's – Okuda's back. Is a oh. player without a position right now. He is Ojuari an edge rushing specialist name. that plays linebacker. I don't think he's going this high. Yeah, well, Lions have a second pick in the first round. So, yeah, I actually had a corner going there. I thought I felt like that made more sense. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm a liar. Um, okay, we can go with your guy. <laughs> Take it, Christian Gonzalez. I flirted corner back with them. I just feel like it's like it's something you can get in the second round for them. I don't think that that's their biggest need. There's a lot of needs on this team, and I just. It's going to come down to best person available. So, so the Raiders are going to take Derek Carr 2.0 at seven with Will Levis. I actually have them shoring up their O line for Tom Brady, and I have them taking uh, Paris Johnson from Ohio State. Wow. I like your style, but we're doing no trades. So, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually have Will Levis as well there. Unfortunately, I I was flirting with the idea that Bryce Young would be slipped this far because I, I don't like it. And for some reason, Will Levis is getting all this hype. Uh, but yeah, I had it's it's Will Levis, in my opinion, as well. So, I mean, we're, we're not talking a trade. TB12 just signs there. Like, that's... I know I was I was just I was just being facetious. I'm sorry. It's just being angry. Okay. Well, can I can I be angry? Retire, Bill? Be angry. All right, well, I, Liv, Lil Levis to the Raiders then. If I'm t- yeah. if I'm being honest, Tom Brady goes to Miami to and never plays football again. Sadly, well, shouldn't. Really that's sad. a conversation for this entire offseason, I believe. <laughs> we'll have that conversation play too. again. Um, pick eight is Atlanta, and I am going O line here too. With either Paris Johnson or Peter Skaronsky, who is who I had down, but Paris Johnson's probably the best available. I, I didn't think know Peter is the best tackle in the draft, so I think they would go there. But I don't yeah, know, Josh, I, who do you have? I actually had a cornerback. I didn't know what – Atlanta needs so much, and I don't really <laughs> know what they need best. So I actually didn't put anything on there for them. I love how many needs QBs are on this list, by the way. It's the entire – it's half of the, the football the NFL. So um, I'm okay with Paris Johnson here. I actually had um, – Devin Witherspoon is my first corner off the off the board, but Joe really liked Christian Gonzalez. So we had to put him in there. So Paris Johnson's fine with me if everybody else is all right with it. I'll take it. Paris Johnson goes to the Falcons at eight. So now we got nine Carolina Panthers, who are a huge trade trade up candidate because they are whew, in need. No, they got their guy right here. Well, so Anthony this, Richardson this is, is going yeah. to the Panthers. That this is where it gets interesting for Anthony Richardson. Um, I don't, I don't see him falling past the Panthers if he makes it there. I think they're going to trade. You got Tennessee, the Jets, right net, right behind them. That are going to swoop in there. So you know, it makes sense. I had them going wide receiver, but I guess it makes a lot more sense to have a quarterback um, because they they need someone to throw to that receiver. I just think Anthony Richardson is going to test off the freaking charts. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So. He he might actually surpass Will Levis or one of these other guys. It's going to be tough. Oh, but I there's a possibility. trust you. Trust me. He definitely is. The problem with him is that he was playing at Florida, and Florida is the biggest waster of talent. The biggest issue they've had is just completely underdeveloping players like Kyle Pitts, who made it to the NFL, got everything he has. And hasn't shown anything yet. 
Kadarius Tony also gets drafted the NFL from Florida. We have not been impressed with Kadarius Tony yet. So now we've got Anthony Richardson coming through the same pipeline. And I don't know. I don't People know. love so, Kadarius Tony. I have no idea what you're talking about. But he's we haven't seen it. That's what I'm saying. No, I I, I mean I agree. It. People love Kyle Pitts too. We haven't seen it. Like it's, it's the same fair. same situation. So I just want to talk about it. I had the Jets grabbing Anthony Richardson, which actually doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But I will say my pick, the first wide receiver would have been off the board. Jackson Smith. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. JSN. And um, Jigba. And Jigba. Um, yep. That is my best guess for first wide receiver off the board. I know that he didn't play much last year, uh, but I have a feeling that he's the highest talent. It might. I don't know how long his recovery process is, but. Hopefully it's not. He, he hardly Williams. played all year. He's, he's, he's secret. Good. He's already ready now, and he bailed on his team. But that's beside. Oh, that's better. He's not even injured then. Perfect. No. Yes. He, Number his one. His entire receiver. family went off on Todd McShay on Twitter about how you don't know his medicals. You don't know how his recovery. Pro- no, c- come on, come on. <laughs> so the he Panthers played in the playoff game, and he could have played. It's fine. You don't have to go that hard into the defense, but. I had a quarterback down for Carolina, so I say we just stick. I'm, with I'm cool. With, no, yeah, I'm cool with Richardson. I just wanted to. I just wanted to f- ruffle some feathers, if I Look must. Fucking PFF putting Tanner McKee as the next best quarterback available. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, don't look at the rankings. That's Please. not important. What's important is this over here on the left side of the screen. If you're watching, if you're not watching, go check out our YouTube video. This will be posted. Um, and this one will actually be posted because Billy won't have to give me times. So I'll just do it myself. Thanks, awesome. Billy. Um, so times. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so the Eagles so are on the Philly, clock. Yeah, let's go. No I had reason. Kyrie for no reason. I love it though. Um, I also think that they're a trade down candidate just because they can do whatever they want now, and maybe they'll try to get another first round next year. Ten isn't very high though, so it's gonna be hard to like get a first next year for this. But and people are probably tired of seeing the Eagles with two first round draft picks. Um, I had Tyree Wilson going here without the trades. Um, but he's already off our board. So I guess my next best would be Brian Breesey. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I Brian Breesey is my pick. They, you saw, you know, Jordan Davis is going to be a monster as soon as he gets healthy and gets more playing time. But you saw when he went down, they signed Limbaugh Joseph and Dom Kinsu, two of the oldest people walking on this earth right now. So they infused some youth with their absolutely gratuitous pick for no reason. Get the Brian Breesey in there. Yeah, I, so, I think you, you got Fletcher Cox leaving. You've got, well, and then possibly, I mean, they're they're old and free agents at this point. Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham uh, eventually leaving. Derek Barnett's been injured all year. And then you got Sweat, Hassan Reddick, and Jordan Davis. It just makes sense to lock up that second. And Hargrave's a free agent too. So it's just, there's a h- huge gaping hole. And I think Breezy fix it. So the that only reason, which I'm going to get overruled. So it's not that big of a deal. But. The only reason I think they don't go Brian Breesey, another D tackle in the first round of the NFL draft. I just think that if they do it two years in a row, there's people that are going to be like, why, are you, why, why, why did you do it two years in a row? So, so I think they would have gone, I think they would have gone cornerback with Joey Porter Jr. Personally, that would have been my pick, but. So Brian corner Breesey is wins. probably one of our higher needs, but I think the, the D line has been a very important thing for the Eagles um, over the years. And I think it would be more like frowned upon if the rest of the team was not, it was in shambles. If there was one position that was in shambles, I wanted to give him a linebacker, but there just wasn't that guy. So uh, Trenton Simpson, I did have a little higher, so he could have been slid down in this spot as well. But um, yeah, I, I just feel like, Locking up that D line. Are we are we good with that? With if you get Breezy on the Eagles, you could literally rush two with Jordan Davis and Breezy. He's six five three oh five. Put him next to Jordan Davis, and you can just drop whatever you want. You don't need a cornerback there. And they still have Dean in the waiting here, so just to me, it made sense. I also wanted to put Brian Branch here because I feel like we are a safety type team that is a safety away. CJ Gardner Johnson probably will resign, but we have a lot of off season decisions to make, and I don't know what's going to happen. So I know this one. Will replace Fletcher Cox and Hargrave, though. So I really thought they were going to get Kyle Hamilton last year at eleven. Or what, I would, I 11, wouldn't 12, have been whatever. upset about it. Yeah, um, but so anyway, I like Jordan Davis, Davis, so I'm more than happy that he ended up there. Absolutely. And now we have Tennessee Titans on the clock at number eleven. O line. I have him taking. I have him taking Brian Branch, but that's just because I love that guy. That's in Bennett. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> 
I will make that argument. That, right? I will make no, that argument for late a... first round. Stetson Bennett will be drafted in the first round. This is my uh, um, fireball. Brees Hall. This is my Brees Hall. Yeah, I'll do it again. I did it for Brees. I'll do it for him. This, this is way drafted. crazier than Brees, by the way. But by I'll, all means, I'll do, it. I'll do it. I'll take a shot of fireball at the end. So of the night. we drafted Peter Skaronsky. So I think Paris. Johnson would be the best player available at that position. We drafted Paris that. Johnson. Broderick Jones, I think, would be the best. We drafted Paris Johnson. We, I, I personally had Skaronsky as next. Well, we okay, so Skaronsky would be the play here. I, I mean, I agree with it being Broderick Jones, but if Skaronsky makes it to 11, I think they would be foolish not to take him. My fault. I thought we drafted him already. He's Skaronsky is <clears> my <throat> best tackle. Okay. Quality yeah, radio here, folks. Garansky quality quality yeah i, know, no, I hope this is easy to follow on audio if it's not you know we kind of apologize but at the same time this is this is 1.0 you know well let's just let's just give a rundown for those who are still listening and thinking about quitting uh we got number one <laughs> chicago bears will anderson number two cj stroud he's a quarterback i think you know him uh that's the houston texans number three arizona cardinals jalen carter defensive line number four bryce young indianapolis colts uh, pick five, Seattle Seahawks from Denver, Tyree Wilson, edge rusher. Pick six, Christian Gonzalez, cornerback to the Detroit Lions. Uh, seven, Will Levis to the Raiders. Eight, Paris Johnson, uh, tackle to the Falcons. Pick nine, Anthony Richardson, quarterback to the Panthers. Bre- Brian Breesey, Eagles, and Peter Skoranek, tackle to the Titans. And Quentin right. Johnson to the <laughs> Texans. That's who I have as well. Same, it does seem thing. after they lock up the quarterback, it just makes sense. But once again, I would have to say it's Jackson Smith. Uh, but you know, we'll we'll get there. Quentin Johnson is what Mike Williams should be. He's got the speed and he's huge and he runs routes. He's very light on his feet. He give me Quentin Johnson all day. I will say I am excited about TCU products that are going into the draft because TCU is a good team because of their players. Like they're not the Alabama whatever tied. So, Josh, you say you're a fan of TCU players that get into the NFL. Were you a fan of what TCU play? Jalen Rager was was he a good player for you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about this year on a good team. No, Jalen Rager hurts my brain every <laughs> single time. We talk about that pick, Justin Jefferson, Justin Jefferson. Every mock draft that anyone ever did, and then we draft Rager. I, I don't want to talk about it. We're gonna put Dude, when he Johnson muffed here. that punt for Minnesota. I was just I like, Oh no, man. Oh no. So okay, Quentin Johnson to the Texans. 13's the Jets. This, this is, is where this... I had Richardson going. Um, it doesn't I mean now that the top four quarterbacks are off the board, I don't see one going for a while. Um I have Branch another going here. I'm Branch be a good one. I had Branch higher, so um I'm, I think I'm you a... gotta go O line if you're the Jets right here though. Yeah, and Broderick It's a little Jones early be... for Jones, but I don't know. The real question is, do the Jets roll Zach Wilson or Mickey Blanco back out there? or And or do they trade for one of the two quarterbacks that are left? Carr seems like a not a fit here, but a, a move that the Jets would make. It might be Lamar, too. Um, Lamar if... could be. Lamar would be crazy. That would be crazy. I would actually probably they... be a fan of the Jets at that point. They would need O line if he gets there, but assuming that doesn't happen and the team is what it is right now, it seems like they are very heavily invested in taking defensive players. So that's why I assume it's going to be Brian Branch. Yeah, and we're we're well, I guess that's not a trade either. So I mean, I don't know. Okay, well, let's go with Branch. I had him higher anyway. I'm cool with that. Joe, you go with that. Yeah. Brian Branch, safety from Alabama, is on now on the Jets, and we got the Patriots on the clock, who also need a QB. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Yeah, they do. Um, this is where I started to just want to kind of see what the board looked like because they they need a lot, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, wide I receivers had them, probably what they need, but, like, I just don't – I just don't know. I had them taking Quentin Johnson, actually, because I had uh, JSN above them. So I'd be okay with JSN or Jordan Addison if you – Want a wide receiver here? I, I just, think that's. I, I think it's don't the play. Think they're going to take Addison. I I, I think they're going to take JSN if they take a, a wide receiver. JSN would make a ton of sense out of the slot for them. So they Addison's really don't. The they player. tried to make it work with the tight ends, but they don't have that middle of the field guy. 
Did Addison ever get 1,600 yards in a season? I don't think so. I'm just messing with you, man. I, just... I was about to say, I don't know if you want to look up Addison's uh, 2020 or 2021. Uh, I did. He didn't he have did. 1,600. What do you have, 14? I have Can I give you a I crazy like Bill Belichick pick? Okay. What do you got? Emmanuel Forbes. Six pick sixes. FBS record at cornerback. That's true. That would be his Man. guy. I, I have would no totally idea be a Belichick that is. guy. I, Josh, I he had 1,593 yards, by the way. Told you. Didn't have 16. <laughs> <laughs> Did not That's look not that up. Not 2.0 to the Patriots. That's my vote. Are we going with JSN or do you want to go with Addison? JSN. I don't think you. I don't think you'll go Addison. Like that's the thing. He's J. I cannot believe PFF has Zay Flowers above Zay Flowers Jordan above both of Jackson them. Jackson Smith and Juke. All right, just calm down. <sighs> calm down. We're JSN yeah, to just, the Patriots. They get a wide receiver I, I, finally. I um, and then we got Green Bay on the clock. They're pissed because they were going to get JSN. To me, it seems Addison. I that's actually well. Here's the thing: you would think that, but I actually think they're not going to go wide receiver yet again, and I think they're going to go Michael Mayer, tight end from Notre Dame. I have seen Michael Mayer a lot of places. I don't is is uh what's his face done, tight end? No, but he's not as good as Michael Mayer is. That's fair. Um, you sure the page? We didn't talk about this. The Patriots could have drafted Michael Mayer. Yeah, but I I'm just, like I'm they, just kidding. I was about to say the amount of tight ends they have on that team. I feel like they cannot do that for Bill Belichick's sake. It would um, be hilarious though. Well, I have been be, taking it would be Addison. fantastic. Joe, what do you what do you want your rivals to or what do you think your rivals will draft? It makes sense to for them not to draft a wide receiver because they just won't do what Aaron Rodgers wants. So I could honestly see him going Miles Murphy here. I mean, you got Rashawn Gary. Get him, get he'll be healthy next year. Get him the guy on the other side, bookend that. You know, the defense is really solid. They could probably also go is. freaking Nolan Smith. It would probably be early for him, but they seem dead set on getting George's whole defense. So I don't know. I actually kind of like that Miles Murphy. That that does seem like a better option. I actually didn't place Miles Murphy. I think that was an oversight on my part. So I'm changing down to my here. pick here. All right. Miles Murphy, it is. They grab a defensive end because they don't care what Aaron Rodgers thinks. Right. right. I think it's just a game at this point. It's just like, let's, how do we piss off Aaron Rodgers again? Can we get him to retire, please? <laughs> anyway, Washington now on the clock. Um, they're in need of a couple things as well. Quarterback, surprisingly, again. I just don't I don't think they do it. I, I don't there's no more first round quarterbacks, in my opinion, in this class. So anybody at this point is kind of kind of be a reach. <laughs> and I would think that it would happen later on like some of the Minnesota uh Denver and the 28th slot that would make more sense for a quarterback. Uh, I understand they have Russell Wilson. I'm just saying like one of the later picks Baltimore potentially here in a few picks. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Joey Porter jr. That, that I had Cam Smith. So same, same ballpark, different player. Porter would bring Joey, some attitude to that defense Joey that they're kind of lacking. I've seen Cam a Smith pick. a lot linked to the Eagles, so I assumed he was a good player. I don't know much about him. I cannot be. I will be honest, so I'm not going to die on this hill. No, oh. he is really good. Cam Smith is, but I think Joey Porter Jr. is better. Let's go with little Joey Porter then. We good with that? Too bad. Yeah. It's too late. His dad was on the Eagles. Joey Porter. Was he? Nice. Yeah, he's a linebacker. He was on the Steelers too, wasn't he? Play for the Steelers. Oh, my my bad. I'm thinking Jeremiah Trotter. I don't know why I got those. Two oh no, you're there. fine. But I'm Devin cool. Witherspoon, his brother's on the Steelers, isn't he? Akella? <laughs> don't even know. Anyway, Steelers are up. I think they go Broderick Jones. That O line needs a lot of help still. Um, Najee Harris would probably pay them some salary to draft a O lineman. That's why I had Trenton Smith because I felt like their linebacker game is okay. But I, I I don't know, T.J. Watt and a couple other guys out there flinging around. So, Roderick Jones makes sense. Roderick Jones makes sense. Josh, shut <laughs> I the mean, fuck they up. really do need. <laughs> to they do need. That I actually dude. I actually did have an offensive lineman there. I just had um, I had them being stupid. It's not that know. it's like anything that you're saying is wrong, Josh. It's just that like the linebacker class this year. It's Hooks. Like that was where so I, I placed Trenton Simpson. I just I thought that was like a good 
good spot. He's for him. an absolute stud, but he's like a blitz specialist. So yeah, yeah, but that'd be you know. great with TJ Watt. That was my logic. I don't know. Well, I think Sorry. they could wait. I think they could. I wait. studied like They're twelve gonna... people in this draft so far, guys. Eight. Okay. <laughs> I like Trenton Smith. Well, you spent too much time on linebackers. I can tell you, it's that the already. one guy. It's just <laughs> the one guy. I want him to be drafted somewhere. Can we put him somewhere by the end of this round? Uh, we'll see. All right, All on right. to pick eighteen. Nineteen. Eighteen. 18. We got the Lions. And that again. is the Lions. Um, so the first pick for the Lions, we picked uh, cornerback Christian Gonzalez. Christian Gonzalez. So they probably would not do that again. Michael Mayer. <sighs> I actually did have Michael Mayer going here. Um, it's. I actually kind of love that because this is about yeah. where they took Hawkinson. No, they took Hawkinson like in the eighth pick or something. Eighth or ninth. He it was high. It was. I think it was. So. Yeah. This would actually be phenomenal of them if they did go and get Michael Mayer for this team. Let's do it. I We're like not it. paying your contract, Hawk. We're going to draft your replacement. I'm down for chaos, man. I have a feeling they're going to get an offensive lineman and a defensive lineman. Like, it just seems like what the Lions are going to do. But we well, love Michael Mayer here. That offensive line for Lions is ridiculous, though. So, I don't – it is. Pretty good. I mean, they need defense right. is what they really need. But anyway, Tampa Bay, uh, the GOATS old team – Current team, we're not really sure anymore. Uh, is on the clock here. I had they him taking Broderick Jones, so I don't have a pick anymore. He's already gone. They they need a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff here. So I'm I'm good with going like Cam Smith for them. Um, I think that would be a good pick, but they need a lot. So I don't know if they are a potential trade down. I don't know because I don't, you know, they got to, they got to rebuild this team. Here. Yeah. I think well, they, they gave it all for Tom. Um, yeah. They got their, they Why got their they, Super Bowl out of it. So this is what the Rams are going to be doing. Too. Yeah. I so can Cam- see them going Trenton Simpson. I mean, Levante David's getting up there. Devin can run the middle and then you got Joe. Don't do this. Uh, dude. I, I really want Anthony Richardson to go to the Buccaneers. That's like my dream position. <laughs> I like that. I like that chaos. I was hoping Anthony Richardson would go to Baltimore, but Maybe. <laughs> just, bye. Just replace, Here we got another one. Replace right. Lamar for – We got the new Lamar. Lamar. He's a bigger, stronger Lamar. <laughs> um, I'm cool with Cam Smith here. I'm also cool with, uh, you know, my linebacker that finally gets drafted. But Cam Smith. Billy seemed more certain than us, so I'm going to go with Cam Smith. Yeah, we'll trust him there. All right, 20. All right. Seattle is on the clock. We're back to Seattle. Um, Who do we have their first pick? Uh, they got <clears throat> Tyree Wilson. So we a little high edge. with Tyree. So they got Ed Drusher now. So... Joe, you wanted to go corner, and I have Kelly Ringo here. I don't know where he ranks up. I just really like his Kelly. name. I'm being completely no, honest. No, Keely Ringo Keely. is actually really good. Yeah. He got absolutely torched by Marvin Harrison Jr. By the way, <laughs> Mar- the Marvin Harrison Jr. hype next year is going to be off the charts. That guy good is man. a freak of nature playing college football right now. He's better Joe, than he, he made a lot of cornerbacks class. look silly, though, and Ringo's stock is definitely suffering because of that. Yeah, Joe, I think you should be excited because that's uh, you should have a high draft pick next year. Damn. Be cool. Actually, that really would be awesome if Marvin Harrison went to the Bears. Give me a, a fandom to cheer for. For that would Marvin be Harrison. amazing. If or if he just goes to Indianapolis. What do you think about Jordan like... Addison here? <sighs> okay. Tyler Lockett's getting up there. I do think that that's a good. I'm just starting trying to think in Seattle's terms. What is the best case scenario? And I just feel like it could be Addison that definitely or Ringo, one of the two. I like the idea of pairing up the cornerbacks, but I mean Tyler Lockett's five nine one eighty two, Addison probably the more explosive version of that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Addison. Let's just do it. I'm, we're Let's all fans of True defense, right? I love that we just throw a wide receiver at him. Yeah, it's a wide receiver. To be fair, Addison will be picked in the top twenty, I imagine. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we we are wrong on that one for sure, but we'll see. So we'll take that, and then it's the Miami Dolphins. Just kidding, cheating asses. Yep. 
They're skipped. Now we got uh, the Los Angeles Chargers on the clock. Um, I had Osiris Torrance going here. I just feel like protecting Justin Herbert's their number one goal. I mean, it, it, they that could would go be a my lot pick of ways. as well. Huh. Yeah, because I don't, I don't know what they could do on defense at this point to make them better. Like, don't know. You're not going to make the case for Anton Harrison. Uh, I have him going in the next couple picks. So. I think they need interior help a little bit more than than the outside. Torrance. Torrance it is. We drafted 21 picks. Yes, I was just confused with the forfeited pick. And now we have Baltimore Ravens, the Lamarless Baltimore Ravens. But they do have a linebacker, so we're not going to give them Trenton Simpson. This is the Ringo pick for me. I mean, kind of Marlon yeah. Humphrey kind of plays in a similar way to him. Big, long, strong, you know. That How secondary like is just so good. It was hard for me to throw a cornerback at them, but it well, does this make is sense where to. also wide receiver could come back into play. But the problem with wide receiver right now is you're kind of in the no man's land. Like you're not quite in the first round, guys, but you're not. You know, we're not. We're too far up to take one of the second round guys. So I would love to see Josh Downs here, but he's. I don't think his size is going to get him up. Too, this. He's too short, I think. Yeah. And Zay Flowers could go here too. I think Zay Flowers could sneak into the back end of this round as well. But yeah. I had him. I had Zay Flowers and Parker Washington going a little later in this round, but that was just kind of mocked on how kind of last year went, where the top tier is gone. So it's like the bottom tier kind of goes to the good teams. Yeah, the Christian Watson, Sky Moore situation. So we good with uh, I Keely. Yeah, okay. Keely Ringo. Kitty Ringo is now on the Baltimore Ravens, according to offensive points. And then now we have the Minnesota Vikings, who are in need of every defensive position you can find. Witherspoon. Yes. Okay. We just shut that down real quick. I had yeah. Van Ness going there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, too late. Witherspoon's <laughs> too late. on the team. <laughs> you guys said All yeah, right. and it was like done. Well, well what's I your think safety, I think safety is the bigger need for them as not cornerback, but they also need to get – Patrick Peterson's ass out of there too. So if Brian are, Branch made it to there, I think they're that's a no brainer. Well, I think form. Antonio Johnson from Texas AM or Christopher Smith from Georgia also could both go there. But that's fair. Make, I didn't have any oh never mind. Game. I did have another safety in, on the board. Uh I had Lucas Van Ness going here. Um I think this is kind of where Edge kind of picks back up in my opinion. But so, it just says Trayvon Walker all over him. Van Ness. Um, I don't understand why, but no, I meant sorry. I had him going to Minnesota, not Jacksonville. So Jacksonville needs help. I had Antonio I Harris going. What is the most help? Where is Antonio Harris? Did we already draft Antonio Harris? You mean Anton Harris? I thought there was an Antonio Harris as well. Now I'm right, completely I was lost. About, I was talking about Anton Harrison. Is that who you meant? Uh, Antonio Johnson. I threw out the wrong last name. The safety. Yeah, this yeah. is who I was thinking for the last pick. Um, I mean, the Jags don't super need safety help. I mean, they kind of do. Uh, Cisco's good. Uh, and then what's his name? Rayshon Jenkins has been playing out of his mind. You're probably right. Maybe no Antonio Johnson here. I was thinking they just take Anton Harrison and not think twice about it. They need a line help. That's fair. Protect, protect our man. Anton Harris here, Joe. Do you have any? Do you have any opinions here? Uh, <laughs> from a Anton. fantasy perspective, I really want <laughs> Bijan. No, Bijan makes it to the Eagles at thirty-one. No, I would love to see Jacksonville take him right here. Um, Why would they do that again? Yeah, that does seem like something Doug Peterson would do. Um, nope. Bijan's we're going with Anton. We're going with Anton Harris. And Anton Harrison. There it is. I like your, I is. like your reading of the names. It's perfect. I <laughs> wish I wasn't in charge of this. I immediately regret this. Ooh, you Bijan. took the reins. You took the reins. That yeah, well, your computer's you. a little rough, man. I'm here for it. I'm just trying to help. I got a uh, 25. New, New York Giants. All right. So we definitely need to take a wide receiver here, whether it's Zay Flowers, whether it's Josh Downs. One of the two is going here. That's they cannot ref they cannot not take a wide receiver here. I refuse is, to believe it. 
is Parker Washington not a first round pick? I don't believe so. No. Okay. I had Parker Washington, so I'm okay with Zay Flowers or Josh Downs. I don't know much about these guys. I, I my my study. Which one do you want, Joe? Okay. Downs or Flowers? Just look at the I flowers. love Josh Downs, dude. You can go Downs. That's fine. I love Josh Downs. I'm good. They're both the same size. Josh Downs is a better player. All right, bet. Zay Flowers does better. They're just going to have Josh the Downs. world's smallest receiving core. Yes, they are. Hey, that's Long exactly the downs. kind of guy. That's exactly the kind of guy that uh, he wants there. Josh Downs to the Giants. Yep. Downs. Josh, they got themselves a wide receiver finally. I'm Downs with that. <laughs> nice. Um, I had Christian Gonzalez going to Dallas, but we have already drafted Christian Gonzalez a long, long time ago. Should have okay. been earlier, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to go safety again, try to get this one back up off the ground, uh, either Antonio Johnson or Christopher Smith. Uh, they don't even know who Christopher Smith Good. is. Good. I have a <laughs> This is ridiculous. I don't even know who that guy is. Like Jordan yeah. Battle's also really good too. Christopher Smith's at 102 in the rankings. Love God. Okay, well, uh, Antonio Johnson any, did, then. Did Kayshawn not commit to the draft? Is he going back to LSU? No, he he's he's he declared. Why wouldn't the Giants take him? Damn, that was an oversight. I don't know how to, know how to spell Kayshawn. It's even in the, the it's wide receiver. Yeah. Just type in, um, in the players B O U T T E. It's butt with an O. No, they don't have him. This is a PFF problem, not mine. Like, all right, guys. All right, guys. Calm. Let's calm. Let's just calm down. All right. <laughs> We're going to give Antonio Johnson to the Cowboys safety unless they want to actually, you know what? This has, all right. And I, I'm not even kidding this time. This has Quentin Johnson written, or not Quentin Johnson, my apologies. Um, my linebacker guy, Trenton Simpson, Trenton written Simpson? all oh over it. They keep <laughs> drafting linebackers in the first round. It just seems like they'd do it again. I like Ojolari here, man. I like some Ojolari. Do you think they need edge rush? Like, I feel like that's, that's the one yeah, thing they don't need. Freaking smash his car. He's going to get cut. So. Um, Demarcus Lawrence is ah. not looking great anymore. I know he's just not putting up stats anymore, but like he's not what he used to be. So I, I don't dislike it. But Antonio Johnson, let's let's just put him up there. Just do it. Just let him let him have this. One. He really wants Antonio Johnson to get drafted, so he's on the Cowboys. There it is. We're taking him. Bengals. Whatever tackle has a fucking pulse that's left. Yeah, I would have to say it's definitely a line. I originally here. had a uh, yeah, I had a, I had an offensive tackle going there as well. I think he's gone. I can uh, also yeah. see him taking a cornerback, but I don't know by this point who exactly that would mean is left. We got a couple tackles put, and guards. Can you put cornerback up there too. Let's put them all up there. Eli Ricks, Cody yeah, Mock. Right yeah, Eli Ricks, Emmanuel Forbes. I like Cooper Beebe. Man, the I just don't feel like any of these players are. I mean, they might the test really well. This is this is the end of the draft. They got to draft an offensive lineman here. I mean, well, you got to protect. You just want to take best available then, Cody Mount. Mount. Let's go with Cody Mock, North Dakota. Used to used to. Cannot protect. say that I know that person. Josh, no, you hate North Dakota, Dakota guys, so. Yeah, no, got to protect uh, Trey Trey Lance. He did a really <laughs> good job. He's now well. I mean, maybe he did do a good job of protecting Trey Lance, and now that he's being drafted. Maybe he goes to San Francisco and protects him again because somebody needs to protect Trey Lance. All right, pick 28 is Denver Broncos, and they select B. John Robinson out of Texas. They select Sean Payton. B. I 100% I would agree with you on that one over B. John. Why would they do that over Javante? Why would they do that to Javante? They need both. I, I got to disagree with you here. I had them taking uh, Siaka Ika. Don't know how to pronounce that one. Defensive tackle. Uh, and bolstering this defense a little bit more. You know who this would be a good spot for? Trenton Simpson. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, you're not wrong. Oh, they do need a linebacker, but I think they could wait on it a little bit. I don't know, man. Trenton Simpson's just burning a hole in our in our queue right here. In our pockets. But... Just just put him on the team. Who cares? Yeah, I, hope, I hope somebody says something 
just so I can be like, guess what? You listen to the podcast, find out how many times we could have drafted Trenton Simpson and he made it this far into it. Yeah, he's got to go eventually. 28 is far enough. Uh, Van Ness has also made it a lot further than my um, original rankings. Uh, okay, now we got Cincinnati on the board. Cincinnati again? Or Should sorry, San Francisco. Sorry, or not San sorry. Francisco, Bills. Buffalo, Buffalo. My apologies. Bijan. Yeah, probably Bijan. I'm just gonna let y'all know now. There's no way in hell Bijan's making it to 29. There's 100 <laughs> no way the Bills draft Bijan. Why? Why? Because you want the Eagles are they just gonna keep? Yeah. Are they just going to keep drafting running backs and hope that one of them hits? Hey, them you put Cook keep... and Robinson together, and you got a studly stud factory like for Saquon 20 years. Barkley here. Like, what? What are we talking about? This isn't like this isn't one of these goofy running backs. Like, this is why I know we're wrong because this is like Saquon Barkley. Like, he's going to go higher than twenty nine in the draft. He's not like an end of the round Clyde Edwards you know, or Larry Hall. Like, that's not going to happen. You're probably right. Let's just put Bijan on the I board. I don't know where he would go. Like I, the Eagles. I, we, God damn we it! Went through this whole thing, and I the just Chiefs don't know. now. The Chiefs go Boutte. Get him that Boutte. We don't have. There's no Boutte. No, he's he's Boutte not doesn't exist. Unfortunately, I do think that's a good idea, though, Joe. I think they should do that. That's for spelling it wrong. Nope, he just doesn't live. He doesn't. B o u t c e. I think. Do you see him? Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> you don't see that shit. <laughs> oh, the podcast. All right, Bijan went this. to the Bills. We got Kansas no. City Chiefs. Andre Carter. Uh, Andre Carter would be solid. How freakish Trenton would that be? Simpson. <laughs> he's already drafted, drafted him. Thank we God. gave him to the. We gave um, him to the. the <laughs> Andre Carter on the opposite side of the field for the Chiefs, like. Lining up against that six six freak of nature, I can't even imagine. Like that'd be a matchup nightmare. Would be a nightmare for teams to go against this defense with Carl Loftus and Clark would just be able to pin their freaking ears back. That would be yes. So I like Andre it. Carter is the pick here. I actually had uh, Antonio Johnson going here, but I like this because they do need a safety really bad. But it's not a safety, he's an edge rusher, but still. I no, Antonio that. Antonio Johnson's. Oh, they do need a safety. Yes, they do need a safety. Yeah, exactly. Well, you fucked my All pick. Right. I was gonna put Bijan here. Um, we already got them taking, I believe, an edge rusher, Brian Breesy. So they would more than likely go offensive line or corner if, or running back, but Bijan's gone. Uh, this is this my, my Bijan take was it's very Eagles like to not like Sanders would win like MVP of the Super Bowl, and then we wouldn't sign him. So why don't we do this? Just to, to drum up a little controversy, Jameer Gibbs goes here. He's been mocked in the first round. A lot of people have been saying it. I'm not usually one of them, but I do love a little chaos in my life. And Even if they were to sign Sanders, I could see them also thinking for the future. Um, Gainwell has been – I just haven't used him, but he hasn't really been anything to write home about. Boston Scott's not going to be there forever, so – by the way, if you get into an argument with about Jameer Gibbs and his comp, because everybody's saying it's Alvin Kamara, but then that just pisses everybody that's like a, a realist off, just go ahead and just say, Jameer Gibbs kind of reminds me of Alvin Kamara. Ooh, I'll send everybody into a frenzy. I get so mad. That's great. I love a good I think I he, a good he does profile a smidge like that. I don't – it's not a completely wrong take. All right, and then on to round two. Starting off, we have the pit – I'm just messing with Oh, so if you want to check out our draft, go check it out. It'll be on our socials. It'll be on our YouTube page as well. Um, if you were a little confused following along with the audio, I think we did a decent job. Do you job just want to you want to recap every team? I don't. Pick, I don't. I read can off you put the it first back up and I'll do it. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, I'll scroll we'll put it back up on the screen and all right, man. Um, you... I'll read this off. Let's start all it right, off. To recap the first mock point one point oh for offensive points. We've got pick one, the Bears select. Will Anderson from Alabama. Pick two, Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud from Ohio State. Pick three, Arizona Cardinals take Jalen Carter from Georgia. Pick four, Indianapolis Colts select Bryce Young from Alabama. Pick five, the Seattle Seahawks take Tyree Wilson from Texas Tech. Six, the Lions select Christian Gonzalez from Oregon. Seven, the Raiders select Will Levis from Kentucky. Eight, the Falcons select Paris Johnson Jr. from Ohio State. Nine, the Panthers select Anthony Richardson from Florida. Ten, 
Josh's Eagles take Brian Breesy from Clemson, 11. The Tennessee Titans select Peter Skaronsky from Northwestern, 12. The uh, Houston Texans pair Bryce Young with Quentin Johnston from TCU, 13. The Jets select Brian Branch from Alabama, 14. Jackson Smith and Jigba goes to the Patriots, pick 15. The Green Bay Packers select Miles Murphy. By the way, my – this pick right here will send Green Bay into a fucking firestorm because they take another defensive player on that team. The whole town will be set on fire. Anyway, pick 16, Washington takes Joey Porter Jr. from Penn State. Pick 17, Broderick Jones uh, goes to the Steelers. Pick 18, Detroit selects Michael Mayer from Notre Dame. 19, the Buccaneers select Cam Smith, cornerback from South Carolina. Pick 20. Seattle Seahawks select Jordan Addison, wide receiver from USC. Pick 21. Osiris Johnson goes to the Chargers. Torrance. Pick 22. What? Oh, Torrance. My bad. Pick 22. Baltimore Ravens select Keely Ringo from Georgia. 23. Minnesota Vikings select Devin Witherspoon from Illinois. 24. Jags select Anton Harrison from Oklahoma. 25. I think I'm off on the order because of the stupid – forfeited pick but very pick good 20 25 is Keyshawn boot from lsu no, yes no, that's not. pick 26 dallas cowboys select antonio johnson safety from texas a&m 27 Bengals select cody Motch from north dakota state 28 the denver broncos against all odds select trenton simpson linebacker from clemson pick 29 Bijan robinson goes to the bills Pick 30, the Chiefs select Monster Andre Carter. 31, the Eagles select Jameer. They might as well call him Alvin Kamara Gibbs from Alabama. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. I love Ooh, it. We're against right. all Maybe. odds. <laughs> Trenton Simpson ends up in the first round. Um, yeah, this will be an interesting linebacker year because teams need linebackers, but there's just not enough out there. to Like, Nicobe Dean this year would have been a first-round pick probably. Yeah, and honestly, uh, what happened to Noah Eagles. Sewell? Uh, I mean, he's available. It's just again he's not ninety-two on PFF at the moment. He didn't have a great year this year, and it was kind of depressing. Um, a few other players that could sneak up here: Felix and Duke Uzama. I do think he belongs in the first round. No one Smith. I know he got injured at Georgia, but he is definitely a first-round edge rusher. So I hope he can find his way up there. Um, I'm pretty sure we're good on at most other spots. The quarterback class is very weird this year because what we thought was going to be a lot of players in the first round going in kind of fell apart as the season went on. And now we've only ended up with five, maybe, maybe four. So I guess we'll see what ends up happening there. I still think yeah. Hendon Hooker could be a first round quarterback, but I don't with him being 25 and coming off an ACL tear. I don't know who's going to take the chance on that in the first round. I feel like we didn't talk enough about Stetson Bennett either. What he's done is just beyond impressive, and he's coming in. And the age thing, the 25 thing about a quarterback should not matter as much. They're acting like it's a running back, like he's too old to play football anymore. Like, it's a quarterback. You can be 25 and come into the league. I would like to not hear Stetson Bennett's name for a couple months, man. Can you give me that, please? The thing is, Joe, it is tax season, so Stetson Bennett probably will be handling a, somebody's office. <laughs> or not paying taxes, you know, <laughs> or, with a name like or that. One or the other. He'll either be on a sailboat, sipping martinis, not paying taxes, or he'll be You're named the after a hat, grinding. homie. We also didn't place Damn. Lucas Van Ness, uh, which is a little – I think he's going to go in the first round as well. Uh, this will shake off some rust. This is our first mock. Uh, stay tuned. We will have more throughout the year. I think we'll do, what, two, I three more I can't wait to look draft. at this. After the draft, though. The first one? Yeah. It will be hilarious to match. Well, the problem is, A, we have free agency to go. We're going to do one after that when all the free agents decide where to go because then needs will turn into not needs. So then we can actually figure out where some of these players are going to go. And then, obviously, when the trades start flying, we'll have suddenly a need that we didn't even know, like Denver trading for Russell Wilson. Like, we didn't even think that was a possibility. And when it ended up happening, it was kind of shocking. So obviously we'll have that to go as well. And then, you know, as the pre-draft process happens.